Salt Lake Boulevard is the main corridor through the heavily populated Salt Lake neighborhood. In particular is the intersection at Alalili Koi and Salt Lake Boulevard, where there is a shopping center, public library, and two schools. Cars are constantly flying by Aliamano Middle School, which has about 710 students, while Aliamano Elementary School has about 841 students. This creates a hazardous mix in which there is a large amount of motor vehicle and foot traffic in a small, concentrated area. Going from the middle school and the elementary school down to the crosswalk is quite a, quite a little walk for them to turn and go back up into the shopping center. Uh, and so they jaywalk across that narrow strip out there, which is very dangerous. Jaywalking, it's, also, it's illegal, and you must stay in the crosswalk area by crossing the street for your safety, and um, the law states that you, uh, to cross any major street, you should be in a marked crosswalk. Some students are taking an active role in creating awareness of the situation. Well, I'm a part of National Junior Honor Society, and what we are doing to help raise awareness about jaywalking is we are hanging posters all around the school to just basically say that it's not just harming yourself, it can actually harm people around you too. Um, probably they know um, the consequences of jaywalking, that it's really dangerous, they might get hit if someone's not paying attention but I guess um, they're willing to take that risk if they really want um, to go somewhere. Really dangerous. dangerous. You can get hit by a car. Yes. Even teachers are getting involved by making a PSA in one of their video production workshops. We used to put signs out there, but it's too dangerous. The cars are too fast. They need to have a value and understanding that safety is the first thing. Once their kid is run over or a child is hurt out here, it's too late. Uh, it makes me very sad to see that adults sometimes don't set the example. And the students that jaywalk, it's not worth risking your life. In late 2011, the road was repaired and signs were put out to help with the flow of traffic. Other improvements to this stretch of Salt Lake Boulevard regarding pedestrian traffic and road widening are planned for the future. It's been a long time coming, um, so for the community, they have to be a bit more patient. I know they feel that they've been overly patient, but uh, government doesn't move sometimes as quick as business does. In an emailed statement, this is what Honolulu City Council member Romy Cachola had to say. Currently, engineers are studying the environmental impacts of the project and will release a formal study called an environmental assessment for the public to review late this year or early 2013. I have contacted the city's Department of Transportation Services to also study the history of accidents in this intersection. The problem of jaywalking and other traffic-related concerns in Salt Lake will continue unless the entire community gets involved, hopefully before something tragic happens. From Ali Amato Middle School, I'm Bailey Young for Hickey Now.